Hello and welcome to this second tutorial video on how to make an unjointed memory bear. We'll start with the body and we're going to sew the darts at the top and the bottom of both sides of the body. So fold right sides together and pin the two sides of the dart together. Now I'm sewing by hand on this one so I'm just pinning them with one pin rather than doing a couple of pins going from outside to inside. And then at the top of the body, again, fold along the dart, pin the two sides of the dart together, and the same on the last piece here. Fold and pin, and that starts at top and bottom of both sides of the body and then using back stitch we'll sew along here, here, here and here. You can be really adventurous by mixing and matching fabrics but I'm just going to use one baby grow for all of the fabrics, the inner and outer arms and for the paw pads just to keep it simple. So at this point what I'm going to do is sew the paw pad to the inner arm and I'm just going to fold it over right sides together along that straight line and then I'm just going to pin the two of those together just like that and another one on the other side and so with back stitch across there do the same on the other arm and then we're ready to start putting our sewn inner arms and our outer arms together. So you'll see that the shape of those two, the inner arm with the paw pad on, makes the same shape as the complete outer arm. And start pinning those around. Now you're going to have to be a little bit careful that you get these lined up because you don't have an opening on the back of the arm to help you line it up. So if you start pinning around and find that it just doesn't match, the shape's a little awkward or it's twisted, just unpin, take the time to unpin and get it right. And then sew all the way around without leaving a gap and repeat for the other arm. Now to the legs. We have two inner legs, those are the ones that have the holes there, and we have our outer legs. And we're going to take the correct outer leg and lay it on the top of the inner leg so it's right sides together and then I'm going to start pinning at the back of the foot there at the heel because that's a nice position for us to make sure we're lining everything up correctly and then pop the toes together and pin there and then I'm going to go to the bend where the foot meets the leg and I'm going to pop a pin in there and then you're just going to have to kind of guesstimate a bit there and try and pin them so that they're evenly laid out and then we're going to sew from the heel all the way around to the toe without leaving a gap except here at the bottom which you're going to leave open for the foot pad. I've chosen the fabric from the foot of the baby grow to go into the foot pad of my bear's leg. We've sewn from the back of the heel all the way around without a gap to the toe and we've left a gap just here at the bottom, which is where we're going to place this foot pad. Now, on the wrong side of the foot pad, you'll see marks at the toe and heel, and they line up with your seams. Toe notch lines up there at the front. You'll see as well there's a stain right in the middle of this foot pad. But remember, babies don't make mess, they make memories. Those are often memories that don't come out no matter how much you boil or scrub, but they're memories. Right, so that one's lined up with a seam at the back. And then we're going to go halfway around, line up the two edges of the fabric, just kind of jiggle it a bit. And when you're kind of in the middle there, and the edges are lined up, a pin. And then in between your existing pins, in the middle, in again and then we'll do the same on the other side we go kind of about line it up put a pin in keep 
keep going around, line it up and put a pin in and then when that's done sew all the way around and repeat that for your other leg. In our next tutorial video we'll sew our bear's head together. That concludes our tutorial video. I hope it's been helpful. If it has, please subscribe to the channel, give us some feedback and a like. There are more videos coming soon.